Hello, I will be walking you through mitosis today. So we will start off with interphase, go through mitosis, and in with cytokinesis, right? So today you can see in my model, we're going to pretend this whole thing is the cell, okay? And this plastic bag is the nucleus of the cell. In my nucleus, I've got my chromosomes. So you can see I've got a yellow chromosome and a red chromosome, okay? This pink bead is the centriole that is very important for division, okay, for mitosis. So in interphase, we're going to start off in interphase. A big part of interphase is getting ready for the growth, making copies of the DNA and making copies of whatever you need for the actual division, which is our centrioles. So here, I'm going to start off by replicating my DNA. Okay, As you can see right here, this is my chromosome. Okay, You can see it kind of looks like an X. Okay, That center part where the two sister chromatids are joined is called a centromere. Okay, And these are my two sister chromatids. And together they make a chromosome. Okay, so I've replicated my DNA. And then I'm also going to make a copy of my centriole. Remember, in G2, we're getting ready for that division. So your cell will make copies of the centriole. Now we're going to move into prophase. In prophase, the cell is preparing to divide. Okay, it's still preparing just like it did in interphase. All right, but a couple of key things happen. Number one, your nuclear membrane will disappear. So this was my nuclear membrane, so it has now disappeared, okay? My centrioles, which are these, have moved to opposite sides or opposite poles, okay? My spindle fibers have appeared, so we're gonna use this as our spindle fibers, all right? And your chromosomes are actually starting to attach to the spindle fiber, all right? And they attach at the centromere, so they've just started to attach, all right? And that is prophase. Next, we're going to move into metaphase, M for metaphase and M for middle, and that's how I remember it. So in this phase, your chromosomes will line up in the middle at the equator, okay? and they will line up just like that, right? and that's it. In anaphase, okay? now A stands for apart, so anaphase, these guys will move apart. All right, so we're going to move them apart, and there we go. They have moved apart. All right? Then we're gonna move into telophase. A lot of key things happen here, but it happens pretty much similar to how prophase, except it's now the opposite. So just like the spindle fibers had appeared in telophase, they disappear, okay? No longer need them. Your cells start to come together. Your nucleus or nuclear membrane reforms. So here we go. My plastic bag was my nuclear membrane, so that has now replicated, all right? And then in cytokinesis, what happens is your cell, in animal cells at least, it pinches in so that you actually divide everything into two, okay? So if you look, we started off with one cell that had a yellow chromosome, a red chromosome, a centriole, and then a nuclear membrane. At the end of mitosis, after everything we went through, all those steps, I now have two identical copies. So both cells have a red chromosome, yellow chromosome, a centriole, and a nuclear membrane. And that is everything for cell division. Bye-bye.